Biden's action fills another campaign promise. With this EO, no one will be separated or discharged from the military or denied reenlistment on the basis of gender identity. And for those transgender service members who were discharged or separated because of their gender identity, their cases will be re-examined. President Biden's decision to reverse Trump's transgender military ban goes beyond sending a positive message to the LGBT, LGBTQ community. Got it. It also restores their livelihood. According to the Human Rights Campaign, the Department of Defense is the largest employer for transgender people. For too long, many of them were forced to serve in silence, but not anymore. The head of the Human Rights Campaign praised the reversal, saying for years, transgender patriots were forced to continue to hide their identity while serving in our military. But today, they may live and serve openly as themselves. The greatest military in the world will again value readiness over bias and qualifications over discrimination. And joining me now is Alfonso David, president of the Human Rights Campaign. I'm so happy to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for being here. Sometimes I feel like I say uh, LGBTQ without looking at it better than when I'm looking at the letters. Uh, so I apologize for that. Um, but we know what we mean. Um, we it's so strange to me uh, that... <laughs> Greetings. It's so, it's so strange to me that people uh, would have a problem with someone else deciding to risk their lives for their country. What do you make of the timing of Biden's reversal so quickly into his administration, um, you know, to, to make sure that everybody who wants to serve can serve? This is a campaign pledge. Joe Biden told us very clearly that he would be a pro-equality president. He told us that he would represent all of us, not just simply some of us. And now only a few days into his administration, he is removing this onerous discriminatory ban that has existed for way too long. Transgender people in this country want to serve their country. And for the Trump administration to say that they should be banned from serving their country was so abhorrent. I mean, at its core, it says to transgender people that you don't have value. It says to transgender people that even if you're qualified, we're not going to accept you. We all remember the, the ad with the US Army where it says, we want you. Well, for the Trump administration is, we want you except if you're transgender. And Joe Biden actually believes in diversity and inclusion. He actually understands that our diversity makes us stronger, not weaker. And he also understands that policy should be driven by facts, not by fear. Hmm. In terms of, you know, how those transgender service members feel, you know, the Department of Defense employs thousands of transgender people. In terms of the relief they feel today, you know, have you spoken to any? Do they, do they feel, you know, a weight lifted off of their shoulders now that it is official and Biden's executive order has gone into place? They do. They do. Uh, members of the transgender community who want to serve this country or those who are active service members are now feeling that they can be free. They can be open uh, to be who they are without fear of reprisals. Um, we know that more than 15,000 people, more than 15,000 service members were affected by the Trump discriminatory ban. And with the ban being lifted, they can be who they are, but which is extremely important, but just as important for people to understand. If you can be who you are, you cannot be effective. So if we're asking people to serve in the US military and defend us, how can they defend us if they can't be who they are? And in 2016, the chiefs of staff of to each military branch testified that there had been no negative impact on policy or military readiness by allowing transgender people to serve. Knowing those facts, the Trump administration ignored the policy, ignored the facts, and instead drove their determination based on bias. So today, with transgender people being able to lift their heads up high, walk into a room, and know that they're not going to be discharged or demoted or discriminated against simply because they're transgender, that's huge. And it goes to the core of who people are, right? That's why this is so important. People ask me all the time, well, what are you fighting for? I said, I'm a black man, I'm a gay man, I'm an immigrant. 
I want, I'm fighting for the day where I can walk into rooms and not be treated differently based on an identity. And that's what this is all about. And that's why this is so I, critical yeah. for people. Oh, I'm fighting for the same thing. I think that, you know, in a lot of ways, um, what I what I do every day is try to open people's minds so that they can see that, you know, we're all, you know, down, deep down, people. We're just people. Everyone is a person. Even famous people are people. Beyonce is a person. Um, so it's important to treat everybody equally no matter, no matter what. Um, the Pentagon has a long history of bigoted policies uh, towards members of the LGBTQ community, uh, from Don't Ask, Don't Tell to the transgender ban that Trump literally tweeted one morning. Um, what does this say about how far we've come? I remember so vividly, you know, the 2004 election, then you had uh, Obama win in 2008, reverse Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I feel like we've made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. What, is it, what does it say about the momentum of progress towards more a more inclusive society and military? I mean, what this ban, what the lifting of this ban signifies, among other executive actions that the Biden administration has taken, it signifies that change is happening. It signifies that equality wins. It signifies that when we talk to people and show them who we are, they accept us for who we are. We know, as an example, in the early 2000s, when people were asked about marriage equality, only 36, 38% of people said they supported marriage equality. Today, it's more than 70%. We know that more than 80% of people in this country, including people of faith, support non-discrimination protections for LGBTQ people. We have, got, we have moved significantly. We're not there yet. We're not in that place where we can say we have achieved liberation. We're not in that place where we can say we've achieved full equality, but we're certainly on the road to that, to that place. And to have a federal administration, uh, so it, it's so important to highlight this point, to have a federal administration, a government, to say that you matter, that you have value, that we're not going to treat you differently because of who you are or who you love, is critical and it also informs the cultural zeitgeist. It, it, it tells people who may not be involved in policy making or may, may not be watching the news that, oh, you mean transgender people can serve? Okay. Versus an administration that is vilifying people for being who they are. So we have, we have made significant progress and we're hoping in working with the Biden administration moving forward that you will see more Joe Biden for a long time. And I know that he's a man of his word and I know Kamala Harris as well. And I believe that they do want to make mm -hmm. sure we have an inclusive, diverse community and society. Absolutely. I think, you know, people being who they truly are is such a powerful thing. And I, I, I feel like, you know, when you, when you come here, when you, when you arrive, you know, you are who you are. I look like how I look. I didn't get to choose it. So don't treat me worse or better based on choices I didn't make. Um, you know, people being true to who they are on the inside um, is, is a freedom that we all should enjoy. Alfonso David, thank you so much for being here on this historic day and please stay safe. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.